Hello and welcome to this video. On this video, I'm going to be replacing the door check on a 2001 Toyota Camry. This is going to go on the driver's side. Now, all four of my door checks are actually bad, even though really the other doors were hardly ever used on this car. So what I've done is instead of buying the original equipment from Toyota, which is about $90 per door check, I ordered um, one for, from Dorman. So the Dorman part number is 924-952. And this just fits only the driver's side door. Now this is a Japan built model and supposedly this door check will fit both the USA version and the Japanese built version. So we'll find that out here in a moment. So the first thing we're going to do is pull off the door panel so we can get access to the back of the door check. To get the door panel loose you're going to have to take the window control assembly out and uh, unplug it. And then you're going to need to take a screw here for this bezel piece and take it off. There's a couple of pop-out type um, clips. There's a screw that goes in here, so you take the little mushroom clip out. You're gonna use some pry tools like this to get it out so you don't damage the plastic here. Same thing, there's another one underneath here. There's a little mushroom cap that comes out and a screw that goes in here. And then there's a couple screws underneath, and then you're gonna pull the whole thing out like this once you have everything loose, and you'll be able to lift it up and out so it's easier said than done but it comes off so i'll pull this off like that set it aside somewhere and then i'll come back and show you what we're going to do next so i've taken the nuts loose as i mentioned and the door check should just slide right out like this and hopefully fit through here it's got a small hole to go through so i have to wheedle it through here and see if i can't figure out there we go here it comes so now I've gotten it out and I'm going to take the new one and put the new one in. So here's the new Dorman part and it looks identical to the part I took off. It should fit exactly. I did put a little bit of um, Loctite on the two uh, built-in studs and I put one on the part that's going to go in here through this hole here. And so I also transferred the seal over from the original part. So it's right here and I'm going to, going to put it back in here as best I can, fit it up through there and then we will install it so let me see if i can get it through here like i said it takes a little bit of wheedling because um, the way it the hole is very small where this comes through so i'm going to get that put through and then i'm going to come back and show you how we got it done so i put the nuts on here and i put this bolt back in and i'm just going to snug them up using a 10 millimeter wrench and get them nice and tight. Then I'm gonna reassemble the whole door and then we'll try it out, see how it works out. Door panel's back into place, everything's tightened up. Uh, this works great. It actually holds the door out like it's supposed to and then it holds it like at a mid position like it's supposed to and then it closes okay. So everything is great. So I'll probably replace the one on the passenger side since these are only like 45 bucks on Amazon, seems well built. The rear doors I probably won't worry about because we really don't carry passengers back there very often. So that's all there is to this video and I do appreciate your watching. Thank you.